What's going on? It's your girl DJ Desires. I'm in my Nashville state of mind over here at Fifth and Broadway. We are about to go to the National Museum of African American Music. Come with me. So you know I couldn't resist getting a picture next to this fall into Nashville. But listen, we're in downtown Nashville, Fifth and Broadway. We are walking towards the National Museum of African American Music. First off, Nashville was a vibe. It was great. The people were really nice. And going to this museum meant everything in the world to me. So as you walk up into the museum and you walk in, you see this great mural coming in talking about one nation under a groove and how hip hop and and music and African American music um, has shaped uh, the world and it's just so amazing the displays as you walk in with different artists including Buffalo's own Benny the Butcher um, going through the museum was absolutely phenomenal then when you go in you have a 15 minute movie about the history of African American music and its contribution um, in America but it starts in Africa and oh my goodness when I say the little 15 minute movie was just it it was a bop you can vibe i just love that it showed just the jazz roots and and even gospel roots and oh man then after you get done you get to walk through the museum so here i am walking through first the gospel part of the museum because that's the first thing that caught my eye and oh my goodness the feeling that i felt walking in that room was just so amazing so it has displays about the african roots of gospel music and its transitions throughout the years uh books with old slave songs and hymnals all through it um even interactive displays about people and you know their their feelings about certain praise and worship music and certain songs oh my goodness oh I, oh, it was amazing, right? And then, of course, they talked about Church of God of Christ. I had to. I'm a Kojic girl. And then you get to go in this room and record a video of you singing with Bobby Jones Gospel. How in his choir, how amazing is that? You know, your girl had to go put her robe on and jump in the choir because it was Sunday. I couldn't miss not singing on a Sunday. Oh yeah. And oh Marian Anderson. She's phenomenal. And then you have the other exhibits uh with the jazz roots and blues and oh my goodness. Just beautiful. And so as you're walking through, you hear all types of music playing. I was walking through here. I wish I could let it play. I heard Prince playing. You got to hear all, see all these platinum albums, all the different uh, producers and and record record label executives that got platinum albums and the albums that went platinum and went gold. It's just, oh, I'm telling you, one of those are going to be on my wall one day. Oh, and of course I had to see Earth, Wind & Fire because, you know, my family. But the hip hop section, baby, listen. They had from the old to the new, the lates to the greats. Listen, it was such an amazing place to be. You get to go act like a rapper, record yourself rapping, dancing. Oh, it was it was everything. It was literally everything. And it was such an amazing place and an amazing space to be. And then once you go out in, in the lobby, there is this interactive panel where you put on headphones, you can go through different times um, in history, find out about different events that went on in different times, the music surrounding those particular events. You get to hear, you know, certain people um, speak. And then the music that you hear, if you want to, you can save it to a playlist and um, it'll send it to you through um, your wristband. So it is so amazing, guys. I love Okay, phenomenal. The displays are very interactive, very beautiful, very, it's lovely in here. Listen, there's so much you can do, learn. Um, oh my goodness, inter tons of interactive stuff. Um, for you to do and I am gonna have to come back and bring my kids because I have fun. All right, talk to y'all later.